Welcome to Let's Learn with Sherry G. Today with Smart Response Assessments, we're going to identify students making class lists with teacher tools so that you know who said what in your class. Under the Response tab up at the top, um, the classes are normally in anonymous mode unless you actually pick a class or start a class. So I'm going to go to Teacher Tools to start the class. Go to Teacher Tools and it actually opens up a different little piece of software, flashes at the bottom with the pencils, Teacher Tools. In my gradebook, and you just have to give your gradebook a name to start off with, you can add a class, import students to your class, uh, and more. So I'm going to add a simple class. Um, this is going to be a test class, and I'll put the passing grade up at 100%, and I'll hit Add. So now I can add students to your class. You can import them if you have a comma-separated file, which you can download from our SRSD database, or you can just type students in. So you have to give every kid a number or um, a letter, and then you put in their first name, and we're done. Okay, then you can add more students. Just click Add at the top to add the second student, and off you go. If they're going to be using the internet to sign in um, instead of a QR code, they'll need to know their little ID. Like, I would need to know I would be student B. All right. If you wanted to import um, students, you would have to have a comma separated file or an Excel spreadsheet that you could import into, and there are tips there for figuring that out. You'll notice that I have two different grade books with two different students in the different classes, and I can see there's different students in each class. And if you want to start an assessment or a question here, just make sure that the class that you want is selected before you hit your um, insert question or start assessment button.